What is up, everybody? JT Dangerously here. Once again, I am back for my Ring of Honor Supercard of Honor 11 predictions. Now, of course, Ring of uh, Supercard of Honor is April 1st. Of course, that is the same day as Takeover Orlando, and it's just um, it's going. It's the weekend to WrestleMania 33. So, of course, this is my first Supercard of Honor. Thought of doing these predictions. Of course, if you saw my last predictions when it comes to Ring of Honor which was the 15th anniversary show, I only missed one match. Six right, one loss. And that was, of course, was the, the six-man mayhem match for the for the number one contendership for the Ring of Honor television title, which was won by Kaz. I picked Saban, thinking Kaz was still with Bullet Club, and, and, and thank God he's not. He helped, and if you did not see, of course, Christopher Daniels is the Ring of Honor world champion, thanks to Kazarian, turning on Adam Cole, and ending Adam Cole's uh, the first first ever three time Ring of Honor champions rank. So let's get, before I get into these picks, I want to do thank everybody who did watch my watch the 15th anniversary predictions. Of course, thank you guys so much for watching. Of course, I also want to. This is a non wrestling note. I do want to thank everybody who did watch my March Madness predictions. 118 views. Cannot say thank you enough, guys, for watching it. Of course, uh, what do you call it? Uh, one of my one of my subscribers. Uh, was a South Carolina fan, and they did beat the Duke Blue Devils, so I got to give them a lot of credit, and I wish them good luck in the Sweet 16. Um, I wish I did my women's bracket because I'm doing a lot better on my women's bracket, and my bracket didn't has not has not busted unlike this, unlike the men's, which only was only lasted three days. I was doing great Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday it all ended thanks to Wisconsin beating Villanova. So that bracket busted. Faster than usual, my brackets. But rest assured, I will be doing uh, women's bracket, uh, my women's bracket, and my men's bracket for next year. So I'm gonna add that to the channel. Now, um, of course, um, I'm gonna say before I forget, I better let you guys know which my next videos will be. Of course, of course, the WrestleMania predictions will be up on Monday. My WrestleMania 33 predictions and also my NXT TakeOver Orlando predictions. Then after that, um, April 10th, I will be doing my first round predictions for the NHL playoffs. If you're hockey fans, make sure you guys watch this video. And of course, April 13th, I will be doing my NBA playoff first round predictions. If you're an NBA fan, definitely worth the watch. And, of course, the last thing in April I'll be predicting, it will be the April 24th, the uh, Raw pay-per-view, which, which is payback. So, keep your eyes on those dates. Like, keep, uh, keep those dates in mind when it comes to my channel to see those videos. So, but without me getting said, let's get right into this prediction. Starting with the first match, a tag team match featuring Dragon Lee and Jay White versus the Aerial Assassin Will Ospreay and Volato Jr. from CMLL. This is a very interesting match. Two different styles. Of course, Dragon Lee, fantastic talent out of CMLL. Had some great matches in Ring of Honor and New Japan against um, Ticking Time Bomb for the, uh, the, New, uh, the junior heavyweight champion in New Japan, uh, Kamatachi. He had a great three-way uh, triple threat match at a final battle against Will Ospreay and, of course, the television champion Marty Scroll. So he's and now he's got a great tag team partner in Jay White, of course, the New Zealand, the rookie, very talented, very very talented kid, no doubt. And then you got on the other side, you got the aerial assassin Will Osprey, coming from me. My friend Mitchell showed me matches with him and Ricochet, him and Marty Scroll, coming from me. And I am an AJ fan. He is what AJ was in the past. Like he is that talented, and I usually don't give a lot of praise to guys like. Like I do it for Will Ospreay. So he's very talented. And then there's Volato Jr. Of course I do not know a lot about him. He's a very a virtual unknown. In this matchup. But you never know. He could be some talent in Ring of Honor for sure. So coming for me in this matchup. I am going to take Will Ospreay and Volato Jr. To beat Dragon Lee and Jay White. Again I may be wrong. But I'm going to go with I'm gonna go with the Aerial Assassin. Talent personified. So I'm taking Will Ospreay and Volato Jr. To win the tag team match. Now the next matchup, in a six-man tag match. Of course, it's the new Ring of Honor six-man tag team champions. Of course, I'm talking about Mark and Jay the Briscoes, and of course, Bully Bully Ray. Another so once again another tag team world champion for 
Bully Ray, Bubba Ray, if you will, versus, now this was supposed to be um, Yoshihashi and Jushin Thunder Liger, but of course with visa problems, that's not, that's not going to happen. And it was, and it was, and their opponents is, of course, is Bullet Club, which is, of course, Hangman Page, Adam Page versus and Tomatonga and Tonga Roa, of course, the Grills of Destiny. This one's going to be a fantastic six-man tag. I mean, I would say definitely Hangman and the Grills is definitely, definitely up there for contention for the six-man tag team champions. But of course, Silas Young, Beer City Bruiser, and a Mystery Point are assured of a six-man tag team title match, either on this card or the next night so don't be surprised you see maybe new ta new six-man tag team champions but of course this is not for the six-man tag team titles so coming for me in this matchup i'm going to take bully ray and the briscoes to beat hangman page and the grills of destiny now the next matchup the texas bull rope match featuring the american nightmare representing bullet club that's cody versus the greatest first generation star in wrestling history. Of course, I'm talking about Jay Lethal. Now, this has been building up since Final Battle. When Cody made his Ring of Honor debut, uh, low blow Lethal to win the match. Then he became part of the Bullet Club, of course, the American Nightmare. And Lethal has not forgot that since. Like I said with Lethal and Fish in the 15th anniversary show, Lethal is more. Lethal is more more obsessed with uh, Cody, like like I said in my 15th anniversary uh, my 15th anniversary predictions. Like he cares more about Lethal than anything right now. And this and this is of course it's a Texas bull rope match. Whose wheelhouse is this match under? It's under the Rhodes family. Does Dusty had a Dusty had bull rope matches, Dustin had bull rope matches, now Cody's going to have a bull rope match. This is right up the road's alley. I mean, this is almost a home field advantage for Cody because his, he, he must have watched his father in these matches. He must have watched uh, Dustin in these matches. So he knows what is at stake, at stake, I mean at stake. So, coming for me in this matchup, because it's Cody's match, I'm going to go with Cody in this one, because I think you can't have a Rhodes, like, you can't have a, that's like saying the Rhodes lose a bunkhouse, a bunkhouse match, like, no, like, only a few, like, only Dustin's lost a bunkhouse match, this is like, right up their alley, so I gotta go with the, I gotta go with the guy with the family heritage that knows this match better than anybody, and that's the Rhodes, so I'm gonna take Cody to beat Lethal in this Texas Bull Rock match. Now the next matchup for the Ring of Honor Television Champion. Of course, the champion, the villain, Marty Scroll versus... Of course, I'm talking about Adam Cole. Adam Cole, baby! Now, this matchup was just named, I think just tonight, and I can see what they're doing. I mean, of course, uh, Adam Cole just lost the Ring of Honor World Championship, and he is literally gone batshit crazy. I mean, he fires, fires the Young Bucks from the Bullet Club, which he can't do. He's more obsessed of having the rematch, because, of course, um, uh, Adam Cole is, is due a return match, uh, against Christopher Daniels for his Ring of Honor World Champion. He is the first ever three-time Ring of Honor World Champion. I can tell what they're doing. I mean, he's becoming obsessed because, like, he, he's obsessed with having a championship. I mean, being the first ever three-time Ring of Honor World Champion, then you lose it about two months later, and then now, and I was hearing that he was calling the board of directors saying, I want my rematch, but, of course, the rematch... Uh, it's Dalton's castle shot. It's not his. So what's the next next best thing to give Cole? Give him a shot at the TV title. I mean, it's the only singles title they have in Ring of Honor. But then he's going against Marty Skrull, the villain. I mean, if you did not watch that match with Leo Rush at the 50th anniversary show, that was a fantastic match. And this is a big time. This is an opportunity for Marty Skrull. He beats a the former three-time uh, Ring of Honor world champion and this kind of 
like has Adam Cole against somebody other than Jay Lethal, other than Christopher Daniels, some a youngster, like a young young lion in Ring of Honor, and maybe the best television champion they've had other than Jay Lethal. So this is a definitely a win-win for the fans because it's Adam Cole, it's Marty Scroll, it's for the TV title, and this is an opportunity for Marty Scroll to elevate his career even more because he's beaten a lot of people. But if you can beat the three-time Ring of Honor champion Adam Cole, that's a bigger, that's a big accomplishment. So coming from me in this matchup, I gotta take Marty Scroll to retain because I love Adam Cole, but this whole thing about him losing when it was like, like going. To, insane about not being a champion and thinking he's the leader of Bullet Club, which honestly, it's Kenny Omega who's the leader, but I think having Marty beat Adam just proves that the young stars are not, are here and now, and no offense to Adam Cole, and I love Adam Cole. You saw, you heard me when I said on my, my 15th anniversary reading, I love Adam Cole. I love the Adam Cole, baby! I mean... Just, I like where this is going. Like he's 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 batshit crazy about uh, losing, and what do you call? It? Oh, he's just firing his best friends, you know. So coming for me in this matchup, I'm gonna take Marty Scroll to defeat Adam Cole to retain his Ring of Honor Television Championship. Now the next matchup for the Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships of the World. Of course, I'm. T uh, uh, the champions, of course, is Broken Matt Hardy and Brother Nero versus, of course, the Super Kick champions of the world, a la the Young Bucks. And part of the Elite. The, the Elite. Like, of course, uh, if you did not watch the Street Fight, if you did not watch the Street Fight in the 15th anniversary, it was fantastic. With, of course, Rapungi Vice. And, of course, the Hardys won that match. And they also took... The Super Kick Championship, so the Bucks are now beltless, which is like kind of weird. And now, and of course, this match is was now announced as a ladder match. So a ladder match with the Hardys and the Young Bucks just means magic because it's a ladder match. You got the Hardys, masters of the ladder matches in the WWE, TN, uh, Jeff Hardy in TNA, of course, uh, or Impact Wrestling. And then you have the Young Bucks who won their Ring of Honor Tag Team Championships in Ladder Wars. So they have experience in ladder matches. They have experience in ladder matches in the uh, Impact Wrestling when they were there as Generation Me, if I can remember that right. So they, they both have experience. But of course, and then I have heard that WWE has offered Matt and Jeff contracts. So this could be the last time we see the Hardys in the Ring of Honor. Maybe we'll see the broken brilliance of... Matt Hardy in the WWE, so coming from me, we're going to see a lot in this match. I guarantee you're going to see a lot of this, or tons of them, tons of them, tons of them. So coming from me in this matchup, I am going to go, I am going to, I am going to go with, I'm going to go with the Young Bucks in this one, because if, if they're already getting contract negotiations with the WWE, they're, they're, this is going to be a short-lived reign. They've already they won the titles at uh, Manhattan Mayhem in uh, February, so they've only had what a, uh, about a two-month reign. So I think it's time to if they're ready to move on to go to WWE, let's have the Young Bucks beat beat the veterans in their match, and of course it's the latter match. So I'm taking the Young Bucks to beat the Broken Hardy Boys to become the new Ring of Honor Tag Team Champions of the World. And now the main event for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Of course, the challenger, Dalton Castle, with the boys, going against, of course, the Ring of Honor World Champion, the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. Now, of course, Dalton Castle definitely, this, again, Adam Cole wanted this shot, but Dalton Castle is the, he, Dalton Castle was going to challenge, was in, he was already in the position he was just waiting on seeing who was the champion after the 15th anniversary it turned out to be Christopher Daniels so this is a big time opportunity for Dalton Castle as a very talent very talented very flamboyant I mean the whole entrance if you have not seen Dalton Castle's entrances they're like ridiculously out of like like uh, ridiculously um um what's the word for it um 
I don't want to say it's not fun. To, it's fun to watch, but I'd definitely be deleted for saying that. But it is definitely fun to watch. So if you want to delete me, delete me now. But I mean, definitely deserve. Then you have the champion, of course, Christopher Daniels, finally winning the Ring of Honor World Championship at the 15th anniversary show. If you were if you are a Christopher Daniels fan as much as I was, that was a great moment to see him hold the world the Ring of Honor World Title after years of. Just not having that, having shots, and hearing that he was 09 and one in title matches in Ring of Honor just proved it even more. To him winning was the best thing; it was the right thing to do. Of course, if they're going to give Goldberg the Universal Title, they have to at, at his age. They can damn sure give it to Christopher Daniels at his age. So that was happy to see that, and I'm happy this is going to be. Hopefully, it's going to be a longer reign. But in this matchup, it's. The old school against the new school. It's the, no offense, to Christopher Daniels being old. I mean, it's amazing what he's done in this comp in this business is amazing. It's the the old the the, the it's the now generation against the past generation. This is going to be a fantastic match. Two different styles, of course. So coming for me in this matchup, I am going to go with I'm I am going to go with Christopher Daniels again. Dalton Castle will get his shot one of these days, but it's just not tonight. So I'm taking Christopher Daniels to beat. Dalton Castle to retain his Ring of Honor uh, World Championship. And those are my Supercard of 11, Supercard of Honor predictions. Now, I hope you guys did enjoy my predictions. Comment below, who do you have winning? Of course, if they add any other matches to the card, I will uh, put them on the comments below, and then I will make my pick right there. But these are my uh, these are my six picks. If, there's, if they add one or two more matches, let me know in the comments if you do watch Ring of Honor. I would say I'm surprised Kazarian's not on this card, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see Kazarian on the Kaz on this card. So again, if you hear anything, or if I hear anything, I'll put them in the comments below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, tell me who you think is going to win these matches, of course. Um, of course, um, I'm always on to see your comment. Hit uh, Thumbs up the comment, and of course, comment back to you. So comments are always welcome on this channel. Now, of course, don't want to forget to... That like button, of course, like it, uh, like it, of course, uh, super kick that like button, hit that, hit that comment, uh, hit the comments, share it with your friends, and of course, you can never forget to, that subscribe button, become part of this bigger and funner Dangerous Alliance, and I, and, and I thank you guys for watching, and of course, I will see you guys, uh, uh, I will see you guys Monday for my, I'll see you guys Sunday for my uh, WrestleMania predictions and my NXT TakeOver predictions. So I'll see you guys soon. See ya!